Hey, how's it going guys? How are you? Welcome to a new video on the channel. Today I bring you something that can really be very necessary. If you dedicate yourselves to traveling and working in your van, in your motorhome, or you just want to have a portable router to take it wherever you want. We're talking about the G-Lite NIT, the Speed Plus 2000. It was, it's this tiny router that I have here that fits in the palm of my hand. And it has Wi-Fi 6, 4G, long-term evolution Canadian dollar 12, and promises to have brutal speeds and advanced protection systems. Among its main features, we could highlight that it has a double slot for subscriber identity module cards. It has four interchangeable antennas. It can be compatible with more than 30 different VPNs. And of course, with speeds of up to 2,400 megabytes. And let's see what it's capable of in today's video and put it to the test here at TechGround. This equipment is a creation of G-Line Information Technology, a brand focused on developing compact rotors with secure connectivity and above all, focused on high performance. And surprisingly, we have tested other options on the channel that have impressed me, not only for their competitive price, but for how easy they are to install. If you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's unbox this to see what's inside. Inside its box, well, we find a very simple box, a white box. On the front, we see an image of the device with the name and model. On the left side, notable features of the device. Uh, and on the right side, we see a quick response code that will take us to download the GLINE-D application. On the back, an image as well and recycling topic. At the same time, in the box, we find this Speed Plus GLX 2000, quite compact and with a sober but modern design. We also have the power adapter, the two Wi-Fi antennas, two long-term evolution antennas, the Ethernet cable, user manual, warranty card, plugs with screws for this support that can be mounted on the wall, something that not everyone includes and is very useful. It even also comes with an adhesive to stick it if we don't want to screw. This is everything that comes in the box, which we have already taken out. From the first moment, it's evident that it's compact, lightweight, and well suited for its purpose. To mount it anywhere, since it comes with these two little plates, one adhesive for mounting to be able to stick it. And in this way, not having to screw into any wall. And this one here, which truthfully also looks quite simple, which would simply be, get here. Put it, screw this into the wall, and with a click, we could hang and unhang the router in a moment. The truth is that this is very surprising in terms of design. Also, these three accessories for the power outlets of different countries are also great and phenomenal. In case you want to take it anywhere later and you want to be connected wherever you go, well, that is a very key point. That's why this router stands out. Honestly, I'm talking about the dimensions it has and the main features before moving on to the tests. And it has 14.1 centimeters in length by 8.6 centimeters in width and 3.6 centimeters in height. Having a weight of only 443 grams, they are approximately 440 grams. It is very light while it feels compact. And despite being made of plastic, because obviously due to the weight and composition, it has to be made of plastic. It doesn't feel empty. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, like a hollow or like some routers that we touch and it seems like they weigh nothing. This one, on the other hand, already feels consistent. Thus the 14 ounces. The device is completely white, including the finish and antennas, except for the LED section, which is black. And we find a design that is practically cooled from all sides. It has a cooling grille on the front with a very nice design without longer and shorter stripes. With some dots on the right side, well, it depends. If we look at it from above, it would be the left side. We have here the slot for the two subscriber identity module cards and the vents. Also on the right side, we have the input for a USB port 2.0 for remote storage. We also have the vents and a sticker where we will have the internet protocol we have the quick response code also to configure it with the mobile and the password and so on. On the back, we see the four inputs for the antennas, two, four, sorry, but 4G isn't a metric system unit that can be converted to an imperial system unit and two for Wi-Fi. Six that are very easy to put on, take into account here because they come named when you install them that we put each one in its place. The reset button, the two RJ45 inputs, one wide area network and one local area network, which can also be changed and perform the local area network function in the wide area network. And the power socket from 9 to 36 volts in barrel form. Below we have some non-slip pads in this part, which is gray, which is dark. 
where we also have the internet protocol, the model, the serial number on this sticker and also ventilation grills. Uh, as I was saying, a very top detail of this router is that we have to be able to exchange the antennas, then we want more powerful antennas, or we want to exchange them because we want to, uh, for our preferences, put another type of antenna. As far as we know, they aren't already inserted, but we can change them anytime to our liking. On the top, the surface of the black thing that I mentioned to you. Okay, on this black band, where we have the illumination screen, where we have the power internet, uh, 2.4G, 5G, the cell phone, and the brand name. Okay, the cell phone would be the coverage that the subscriber identity module card we embed in the device would be giving us. Now let's get to the heart of this little guy and its brain. I'm gonna tell you what it's made up of on the inside. And it has a 1 GHz Qualcomm dual core processor accompanied by 512 megabytes of DDR, 0.66 gallons RAM, and 128 megabytes of internal storage in NAND+. Okay, so we really have a beast inside this casing. Wi-Fi 6 with speeds of up to 574 megabytes per second at 2.4 gigahertz, and a brutal 2,402 megabytes at 5 gigahertz. For the cellular network, for the mobile network, we will have the technology of 4 General Electric Long-Term Evolution CAT12 with dual slot. Subscriber identity module, as I mentioned before, which allows you to select the strongest operator or use with error mutation. Is that okay? In terms of physical body and main features, it's a router. It can't have anything more. I now leave you with the tests and quick installation so you can see for yourselves. And the installation is as simple as arriving, inserting a subscriber identity model card, connecting it, connecting our RJ45 cable to our equipment, and powering it up. And the moment the lights turn on, the content starts to register. Visually, our browser will open, we enter the internet protocol that comes to us, or we can also do it with the mobile application, as you will be seeing the images. And directly. It would be to register the device, enter our data, set a password, and hit auto configuration. To configure it, simply click and it will be done automatically. It includes many manuals and we can explore the various tabs. I'll demonstrate the panel as it's quite straightforward. We have the coverage that the subscriber identity module card is giving us. Well, this would be the first panel where we have Ethernet 1 or Ethernet 2. Connect via the wide area, network local area, network port or repeater. If anywhere connected, shared use by tethering is okay. In this case, it would be via USB. The, the wireless network that we can have both a 5G and a 2.4G and we can modify and customize it to our liking, okay? We can also deliberately create guest Wi-Fi networks in case we want to have a guest. And the same goes for the 2G. Uh, I'm going to modify it so that they come out now and we can see it. Uh, let's see if the network works now. Here we can see Tech2, sorry, but 4G isn't a metric system unit that can be converted to an imperial system unit and the input provided is not a metric system unit. Please provide a valid metric system unit such as kilometers, meters, grams, etc. I'll connect to the input provided is not a metric system unit. Please provide a valid metric system unit such as kilometers, meters, grams, etc. It asks for the password. Inserting Tech ground, obtaining internet protocol address. It tells me I have the Wi-Fi. Sixth place on the phone, okay? So here would be my phone connected and my computer, okay? With the MAC internet protocol. With the upload and download speed that we have right now, the speed and the traffic. Here we can lock and unlock it, modify it in... We can change the name, device, and other details at any time if we make modifications. Inside the virtual private network panel, we can find the control panel, where we will have the client virtual private network, the server that we can configure ourselves, the open VPN or the wide warp. Here, for example, we can see it added manually. The Clients add our own virtual private network, the virtual private network server. We can generate one, a wild world client and wild world server, okay? Then in the application section, we have here add-ons that we are going to be able to install like the 464 XLAT or the six in four or any of these that you see here. We have 622 pages of add-ons. The dynamic domain name system, the good cloud, which this is for managing routers in groups, network storage, here, in case we have not detected any device in the USB 2.0, in case we have connected some device here, then to be able to manage it. The AdWord home to block ads, which we can apply. Uh, I'm going to put it here. Then the activity that we have already set in the hardware home will come out. Okay, and of course, parental control and within the network. Here, we can also configure the firewall with the router's open ports, the demilitarized zone, and the redirection to the guest domain name system network. Set the network mode to router, avoid using access point, extension, or wireless distribution system modes. 
the encryption security that we have activated right now, the IPv6 a gateway that we can make to avoid it as a gateway, all network client traffic is first processed by the router. The Internet Group Management Protocol snooping section, which listens to protocol packets and extracts the corresponding information. The network acceleration and the network address translation configuration. And finally, in the system, we will have here a summary of the activity and monitoring that we will have of the router itself. Here the section to improve, install the new firmware, local updates, scheduled tasks, LED programming, scheduled reboot. 5 GHz of Wi-Fi programming status. When we want it to be understood, when we want it to turn off, here we can also schedule the times of our network. And well, now we go with the tests, so you can see them here on site. I'm going to open the speed test. Right now we take into account that we are with my company's mobile network and well, the speeds can vary if you have more contracted or less. I'm also going to do the speed test in two parts. One is going to be here. I'm going to give it so you can see it with me. Yeah, we have a download of 15 megabytes per second, which is not bad, no? I'll test now with the cable directly from the router. Okay, we have already changed the system. We have removed the subscriber identity module cards from here, the card that we had inserted, and we have connected the RJ45 directly to the router. Since it does not have an optical network terminal, and it will be necessary for us to have the main router and connect this one directly by cable. And I'm bending down a little bit here so you can see that it's already connected here with a cable. Uh, then I talked about the Atwar home. I've been here a while opening and doing things. It has blocked here and made many queries blocking filters. Let's do the speed test. This is something else. I have 600 contracted at home. Well, this would be the reading we have here on the computer. We are going to do the same from the mobile. Notice that I'm with the ETS5, which we configured earlier. Speed test, this Wi-Fi 6 here, this Wi-Fi 6 here does work perfectly. I have more connection right now here with Wi-Fi than with cable. I mean, incredible. 650 megas, 642, a pin of 7 milliseconds. We could play matches very easily. That being here nearby, then further away, things will change a little bit. But well, we're going to do the YouTube test to see how it loads now. Watch the buffering at the bottom of a high definition video. This is something else. We're at 2.5K, setting it to 4K. This is something acceptable. To be able to watch a stream of any movie or whatever, let's go here to YouTube. Same quality. We choose the 4K. And as you can be seeing, it's instant. Well, you've already seen that it behaves super well. It has a lot of power. Uh, it is true that it depends on the card we have from our operator. We will have more or less latency. We will have more power. But at the configuration level, you've already seen that it's very intuitive, very simple. For those well versed in networking, you'll be able to precisely configure everything. Super important security topic that we can put our virtual private network that we can have this hardware home, that we have the white guard, and a lot of advanced features like dynamic domain, name system, and a um, lot of things that truthfully are wonderful. I, on a personal user level, have found it super simple. It supports multi one, ideal for combining Wi Fi, Ethernet, and mobile data. It has advanced firewall with the home hardware that I mentioned and the integrated ad block and a very, very intuitive interface from the web for remote configurations. And as final conclusions, let me tell you that I think it's a very good product. It's 240 euros. That's what it costs. It's not a router that costs a fortune. We're not going to 500 euros nor to 400 euros for 240 euros. Keeping our subscriber identity module card mounted and sharing internet via Wi-Fi. The truth is, that it's amazing and that it gives us that power that we've seen in the tests depending a lot on your latency on your company as i mentioned but it's very versatile it's very small and takes up very little space those would be the things that i could point out in a positive way in a negative way well i well, the experience i've had with my company with orange is that it didn't have enough strength maybe to charge directly on my computer the 4k as you've been able to see ranked a little bit but for the rest the truth is that it behaves great it's a router that, well, maybe I would miss a switch, that we had here a switch for a few more local area network. If we have a portable office where we can work with colleagues. 
or being able to connect directly with the cable everyone or that we have a slightly wider connection in terms of rear terminals for the rest highly recommended i leave you the link in the description so you can access the page to buy it uh, take a look because they have a lot but this one in particular this g light nit speed plus x2000 is a very good option uh, as i say if you are digital nomads if you travel if you want to have it in your office in your camper van or you just want to take it to the village put it have it take it when you go on vacation well just so you know that you can count on these types of devices that we have brought here to the channel for you to know and that's it as always leave your opinions in the comments what you thought if you have any questions also leave them there any comments i want to read all of you and thank you for being there i highly recommend this router for that target that i mentioned and uh, well i hope you liked it if so leave a big like subscribe it's free and you help us a lot to keep making content let's aim for a million subscribers See you in the next Tech Ground video. See you soon.